In this video I will show how to take some basic labels in ArcGIS Pro and convert them into annotation. Annotation is when a label uh, has a fixed position associated with it and lots of properties like uh, the size of the text and rotation uh, you can adjust. Uh, this allows you to have manual control over where your labels are placed. Uh, basically you're putting the label into a database uh, where all those properties can be, can be stored and kept and the labels are no longer being placed automatically. Uh, now this gives you much more control but it also uh, requires much more work on your part to uh, position the labels exactly where you want them. Uh, the first thing you would do is follow the instructions that I showed in the previous video to get the best uh, possible automatic label placement. Uh, we did that a little bit by uh, removing the duplicate labels and changing the label uh, color to what we wanted and at some point now we're going to be ready to uh, convert to annotation. So to do that uh, you press this button up here uh, to convert the labels to annotation. This will open um, a little tool over here that you will fill out. Um, and one thing that it asks you is where you want to put that annotation. You're going to have to specify a database where that's going to go. Um, and so every project that you create in ArcGIS Pro comes with a database. In this situation, I called the project uh, annotation project. So when I uh, click this, um, I'm going to go up to my projects folder and I have this uh, annotation project that I made and inside here I've got this database that already existed. So every ArcGIS Pro project's got this database with the same name down inside its folder and you can put the annotation there. So that's what I'm going to do and uh, you can name uh, this database uh, you could just leave the default here, that's fine. You can leave all the other default settings and run this tool. And when you do this, uh, if it works, your map will look exactly the same. Um, but what's happened now is that these labels have been placed into that database. So what you can do now is um, have more control over them. Let's go to the Edit tab to see what I mean. Um, so this allows you to edit data. We're going to choose to move features. And if we carefully click on a label here, now it's got this yellow dot and we can move this label around, which we could not do uh, before we converted this to annotation. So for example, if we have um, a label that we want to reposition, uh, we can do that here. Uh, we can move this label inside the country. Um, we can take this and move it out to the side. Uh, same with Gambia, maybe put it next to the country instead of trying to put it inside. Another thing we could use is this little button called annotation. Maybe we want to make some of these labels just a little bit smaller so they fit inside. So I've uh, clicked now the label for Burkina Faso and I could change the font size for that. Uh, for example, let me change this to 7 point font. Uh, that's pretty small but it's still readable uh, but now it fits inside the polygon so it looks a little bit better. Now you might be able to uh, adjust some of your automated label placement settings so they do this sort of thing for you. Uh, but this is going to give you way more control. Um, another thing you can do is change the text. So this says W Sahara. That's been um, abbreviated from Western Sahara. So if we wanted to put the full name, we could do that. Um, we could put it on two lines and maybe move that over here. Um, so again, we can change the text itself and we could also change the text size. Another cool thing that we can do is change the text uh, rotation. Now that one is going to require going down into here and choosing more tools. And we have a little rotate tool. So a perfect case for this might be uh, Madagascar. Uh, we might want to turn this to adjust to the angle of the island. Uh, and then we can uh, go back and move it later. So we can choose the move tool and slide it over just like that. When you are done um, moving around your annotation and you've got things the way you want, make sure to save your edits. In fact, it's not a bad idea to do this frequently and that will save the changes that you've made in the database uh, so that they appear next time you come back to the data. And so the others who will work with this annotation uh, will see the labels in the same place that you selected.